Let's have a look at a new Swift UI color slash styling API that got added at WWDC 24 as part of iOS 18. This API is part of the any gradient set of gradients and it's called mesh gradient. Previously, you probably knew about linear gradient where you can define multiple points along one axis with different colors. And then of course the gradient would interpolate the colors between the points that you set on that axis. Mesh gradient behaves exactly the same, but instead of one axis, it is actually two dimensional, which means that it has uh, as many um, mesh vertices as you want. Basically, you can define a grid of colors. So how does a mesh gradient work? I've already laid out an example here, even with a nice tiny little background animation. This is something, um, yeah, as I said, that you could, for example, put in the background of some uh, some header view or something like that. I probably wouldn't put this in the background of an entire screen as that's way too colorful in my opinion. So how does all of this work? Of course, we create a mesh gradient. And as I said, mesh gradients are a foreground style. So you can use them with the foreground style API for texts, images, and everything else that you might need. And this is the simplest initializer. There are uh, more advanced initializers and I uh, encourage you to play around with those. This is just a video covering the basics of how to create a mesh gradient. First, you have to define your grid. So how many points in width your grid has and how many points in height your grid has. So in this example, I'm creating a three by three grid, which means that I will have nine colors that I have to provide and nine points along that grid that I will provide. So first of all, define the size of the grid, then define an array of points. So these will be three by three, which means nine points. In this example, they are evenly spaced throughout the entire grid. But of course, you could move them around in order to have more flexible mesh gradients. And then lastly, you have an array of colors. Now, this is a bit on the complicated side, what I implemented here. But in essence, this is just an array of some uh, colors. So for example, uh, we could turn all of these blue and then copy this line twice. So now we would have an entirely blue gradient and then we could start by uh, turning the center teal, for example. Now you can see that the, the center of the mesh gradient, the horizontal center will be teal. And then we could, for example, turn the bottom yellow and this way you can manually construct your own gradients and of course now we don't have to have the entire rows the same color we can now change some of them to different colors um, for example we could use orange here and, and pink up here so i think you get the point in this color array you define which of the points in your points array aligned with the grid that you defined has which color basically. Now in the example that I had beforehand, I added an is animating Boolean that I trigger in the on up here and I make sure it takes some time so the animation is slow and that it never stops, it repeats forever. And this is the standard SwiftUI animation setup. This really is nothing fancy, just a quick example of what you could do. So in here I created two arrays of uh, a random assembly of green blue and cyan, so two random permutations of these three colors, nine of them in total for each of the arrays. And I, I think it's very obvious what this does. And this way I can switch between the two colors and have this nice little animation effect in this mesh gradient. If you care about any of the other new APIs added in WWC 24, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also please let me know with a comment down below what you want to see next.